He's looking pretty miserable, isn't he? Doesn't look happy to you. Well, you know what? I'll tell you this. He looked a lot less happy a few hours ago, and I'll tell you why. I went out to Duffy Road, let Dozer run, and I'm with a new friend. And uh, Joe, or John looks and says, uh, is your dog okay? And I'm like, oh, yeah, he's like that. And I look, Dozer's got a mouthful of porcupine quills. And they're sticking out of schnoz, schnoz, and I thought we could just pull them out and open his mouth. There was literally, there was over 100 quills in this dog's head. Not good. Um, not cheap either. 740 bucks to get those stupid things removed. Anyways, it's love my dog. It's not about the money. It's kind of about the money. But anyways, it's not about the money. Um, but here's the thing. I thought that that would teach him a lesson. And I think, oh, I'll never do that again. And you know what the vet said? Watch him. Because you'll probably do it again. Like, why would he do it again? Doesn't he know that if he bites on a porcupine, porcupine's going to cause him some pain. Like some serious pain. Nope. They'll forget. And he will forget the consequences of his actions. A lot of times we're like that. Uh, we have live in a world that is completely ignorant of the consequences of, his act of its actions. Uh, we live in a world that calls evil, good, and then wonders why we live in the destruction that we do. Um, we deny uh, the things that will bring us health and wonder why we're sick. And we do the same things over and over and over again. We have these patterns of behavior that are, are detrimental to us both physically, emotionally, financially, and ultimately spiritually. The Bible says a dog returns to his vomit, so a fool to his falling. It's a dog returns to a porcupine, so we return to the things that are damaging to us. See, God says this. He said, what I want to do is I want to change your heart. I want to take out the heart of stone that goes back to those stupid things. And I will give you a heart of flesh. I want to give you a heart that is now alive. See, a heart of stone isn't alive. A heart of stone is a poor representation of what God really intended. And what God intends for us is to, many, many times, recognize the consequences of our sins so we don't do it again. God says he disciplines those that he loves. And God sometimes allows us to bite the porcupine. But he also expects us to recognize that if we bite the porcupine and it hurts, don't do it again. See, God get, tells us, don't do it. But a lot of times we just have to do it ourselves. And see, God's like the vet. And he says, I'll pull out the porcupine quills. And I'll keep pulling out the porcupine quills. But I tell you, you keep doing that, it's going to kill you. So God says, I'm going to change your heart. I'm going to change your heart that but Jesus used to say, he who has an ear, let him hear. He who has a heart to respond, let him respond. God says, I want to give you a heart that can respond. I want to give you a heart that can live in obedience. And this is what living in obedience does. It allows us to live the best life possible, the life that Jesus Christ came to give us. See, there's a lot of things in our world that are painful. A lot of things that we go through that, um, you know what, we wouldn't retrospect, rather have not have done that. And God says, you know what, it's okay. I will heal you, but just don't do it again. So I hope in this, this has been an encouragement to you. It's been an encouragement to me to think of some of the things that I keep going back to. It's like, you know what? That's not good. I need to change my behavior. I need to ask God to come in and change my heart so I can live the life that he's given me. Anyways, hope that's an encouragement to you. Um, Dozer is still a little bit stoned, so he's fun. <laughs> he's walking into things that he shouldn't be. Anyways, he'll get better. So should we. All right. God bless you. Bye for now.